Oh boy, look at him go. He's pulling line, man. Oh, we got a nice takedown. Nice takedown right there. Oh, that's a slow pull. A slow pull. He's on, buddy. He's on. That's a big skipjack head. I don't. Man, I feel him down there just uh, pulling. He's wound up, but I don't think he's going to be the big a fish as what I thought he was when he took that thing down. Let's get him up here. I feel him just, just rolling down there. I think he's rolling anyway. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a fun size. Boy, that slow takedown, though. I thought it was going to be a significantly bigger fish. Let me see if I can land him right quick before we lose that head off there. Come on now, fish. Come on out. Come on in, I should say. Lord of mine. I done busted your face up there, fish. You forgive me? He says, never. He'll never forgive me. I can't get that dang hook out of him. Boy, fish. There we go. Maybe. Goodness gracious, there it is. All right, now we got it out of it finally. Back down before I hold him up, I got a boat over here. There's the bait. As I stick it right in my finger. <laughs> All right, let's lower this bait back down. I'm gonna hold this fish up, give him a little front camera now. I got a boat over here right behind the camera. It's very obnoxious. Y'all know I don't like talking on camera in front of people. I can't tell him what kind of fishing they're doing. All right, we got our bait down there. Open up your mouth, fish, so I can get my hand in there. This fish has been on, he don't want to open up. Come on, fish, he is clamped down. Goodness gracious, he's clamped down. I'm just gonna hold him up best I can. This thing ain't very big. He ain't worthy of front camera time, but he is. He don't want to open that mouth for nothing. <laughs> get out of here then. I couldn't even lower him down there gently because I couldn't get my thumb in his mouth. All right. We already got our bait lowered back down. We're good. Just waiting on the next one now. Hopefully he got some friends with him. I got thumped hard on this rod. I wonder if that's a flathead. I got thumped hard. Now there's a little weight on there. I think that's a flathead I'm gonna pick up on. We got flathead. I felt bam. That was that flathead just inhaling that bait. I promise you this is a flathead. I promise you it is. Somebody bet me a nickel right now. Yeah, he's fighting like a flathead too. I can feel him just surging. He's not rolling. Nice. I was hoping maybe get a flathead today here on this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, he's wound up. He's wound up. Boy, he's wound up. He just threw the bait off. That's all right. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and boy, he's wound. <laughs> Boy, he's fought, he fought more once he got the surface than he did on the way up. Give myself a little slack over here. We'll land this thing. Come on over here, Flatty. Get you some camera time, doggone it. Get you some camera time here, little buddy. Well, I'm happy to see you. Real happy to see you. Come on in, Flatty. Nice, y'all. Nice wintertime flathead. If I can get the dang hook out. There we go. Nice. Look at this flathead right here, man. His mouth is tore up. I'm gonna hold him up there so you can see him there. Look at all the colors on that. Nice, y'all. Anytime I get a flathead in the winter, boy, it makes me happy. I'm gonna take a camera here, though, and show you his mouth. It is all tore up. Open up that mouth, flathead. Let's go on the inside there. Bottom lip, too. 
I'm inclined to believe he's been eating something real prickly, maybe like yellow bass or something, something that's a, they'll just cut your mouth up type fish. Cause I mean, he is all tore up there on the lips. I'm happy to get him anyway though. Let's get a release shot on the other good buddy. There he goes, buddy. What fish was wound up, wasn't he? He was acting something. I mean, come up here, swimming upside down every which way through there, putting on a show for us. That's what I like to see. Do you know what? Flathead, wintertime, fist pump worthy, buddy. Let's get us another bait on there and see if we can get another one. There's the next bait, hunk of meat going down. I'll come out here today. I, I had some leftover bait, had some scraps, but I was trolling some jigs just from the launch up here to where I was at, and I ended up catching a one skipjack, and I got one yellow bass. So I got to right now. I've got that skipjack head on that left rod, and uh, that flathead threw the chunk that I had on the hook. He threw it off, so we got another one there. I got what's left of that. That's that fresh one. I'll probably at some point put on that that yellow bass just since it's the freshest bait I have. And then I got some, like I said, I had them scraps. So I got skipjack and gizzard shad left over from my last trip. So uh, we got plenty of bait. We just need some fish to work up on this here point. And boy, when they do, I'm ready for them. I had another little bump here on the chunk. Watch that rod go. Watch it go. Oh, he's gonna pull now. Oh boy, this might be a better fish than I thought. This might be better, folks. The way he first hit it, I wasn't sure. And then that rod started going down and kept going and kept going. I don't know what it is. After that last flathead there, of course that's been about an hour since the flathead come through. Boy, this is pulling, man. I don't know what this is. This will be a surprise when we get him up here. Could be blue, could be flathead. I hope it's a flathead. Man. This fish is ready to go though, buddy. Man, he's fired up today. <laughs> it makes me happy. You know what makes me even happier about when this fish bit? Is ain't no boats around. I've had boats out here all over me I feel like since I got out here today there was some I guess he was bass fishing or something right down here earlier when I had that other flathead and some more have come in since the oh this is a nice blue this is a nice blue right here I'm happy with this got us a nice flathead now a good blue this day's picking up folks I hope he left that bait on though we'll see when we get him over here I'll forgive him if he threw it off or ate it, but I'd like to have it back. No, it's gone. You old dirty dog, you. I needed that bait back, fish. Come here, fish. That's a nice blue. Nice fun sizer right there. We got you, bud. Let's get the hook out. There we go. All right. Nice blue cat. I'm gonna tell you the way that rod went. Like it, it was a little bump. It started to go down a little further, a little further. It's like, all right. <laughs> you ugly fish, I know that. It's weird as he's, he's almost deformed. His shoulders are kind of wide. Then his tail gets real skinny here. You're weird looking fish, but I like you. Thanks for coming along today. You're a good time. He says he don't care. He's done with me after I've insulted him. He's gonna try to splash me on the way down there too. I'm gonna fish. The water's about as, I think it's probably warmer than the outside temp right now. So, all right. Well, that's a flathead and a blue on that chunk. Last two fish there, so. I'm gonna take the rest of that freshest skipjack I had there. I'm gonna drop it down there and uh, hopefully the next fish will leave it on. Assuming we get in there, hopefully it'll leave it on. Otherwise we'll probably switch out that, uh, that fresh yellow bass that I caught. We'll put it on as the, the next bait after this chunk is done and try it out. I've just been 
lately my last few trips out the fish i have gotten have showed a clear preference to skipjack so it's with me being in this kayak today only having two rods set up i want really want both rods to have skipjack on them i'm gonna take i'm gonna leave this not normally i just throw them tails out but since that's the last fresh piece of skipjack i have we'll leave it in the cooler for now we may end up resorting to it at some point today just to have it just in case we get some more fish working through this piece right here we're gonna send down nice thick bait right there i'm going a little bit bigger baits today normally in this kayak i typically I like a head and a chunk and you know a big bait small bait type presentation but lately you know, again the last few trips out when i've when i've had success the fish i have caught have mostly been on bigger baits they've they've showed a real preference for head baits lately that's been the overwhelming trend but the heads that i've been catching the fish on have been larger head baits larger skipjack heads so just going kind of two bigger baits out here today and so far it's paid off nice blue nice flathead so hopefully as the afternoon rolls on we get some more working through oh my head bait got hit he got it yeah he still got it man he slammed it pretty hard but then kind of sat there with it i think this is probably a blue here yeah, I feel him rolling down there. This one's a blue, but I'm happy to have him. Sporadic bite thus far. Get a fish, wait a while, get another one. Waited a while for this one. But he's wound. Sporadic bite or not, as these fish move up, I'm sitting here waiting on them. I'm just putting the time in today. Like a deer hunter waiting for bambi to step out into the clearing i'm in my my stand here just waiting on these fish this one here i'm waiting on him to calm down right now come here fish don't throw that head bait off either i want to get that thing back we're going to take a look at it it's been down there a while it's probably bled out I may just go ahead and put that yellow bass on. Come here, fish. Come here. It's time to calm down now. We got something called indoor behavior. See there, you about put that stinger fly first in your eye, then in my thumb. We wouldn't have any of these problems if you just sit there and be still a minute. There we go. Yeah, we'll look at that bait here in a minute. Yeah, folks, that's another fun size fish right there. Slammed that rod and then sat there with it. <laughs> These fish, they just, I guess he thought he'd knock fire out of that dead bait. He must have thought he's alive or something. I don't know. He don't know either. He don't know nothing. He knows he's gone, no, don't he? That's what he is. Yeah. We'll take a look at this bait here. I think I'm going to switch it out anyway, though. Put something fresh. It's been down there a couple of hours. I just, I've got so much more confidence in fresh bait than I do bait that's been sitting in a cooler for a few days. So, we'll take a look at it, but I'd say it's bled out. Yeah, it's pretty well blanched out. We'll get that yellow bass. The yellow bass I got was pretty good size. So it'll make a, a nice sized bait, but we'll take the head and put on, we still got our skipjack chunk over here on this rod. So, what fish, I don't even know what that fish has done. He's running that hook through plumb crazy. Let me get this sorted out and we'll cut the yellow bass and put it on. Okay, let's cut our yellow bass here. I told you, man, that's a pretty good sized fish right there. I mean, he's thick. But these these yellow bass i've mentioned this before these fins right here these things are just razor sharp they're gill plates razor sharp they're pectoral fins down here 
everything about these fish are real prickly. And that flathead we got there earlier, I mean, with his mouth being all tore up, I wonder if he hadn't been feeding on some of these that's got him. Because, you know, skipjack, shad, they're, they're softer baits. They're not going to do that, that kind of damage to a, a fish's mouth. But we'll put this head on. I'm going to trim them fins off of him there. We'll put the head on, drop it down. It's a nice size bait. Give us a little bit more variety down there. Although, again, I've had good, good success lately with the skipjack. But the skipjack I got in the cooler there is a few days old. So I'd rather have a fresh bait down. At least to, at least to try it anyway. If it don't work out, we'll use one of our scraps or I've kept the other head there that I just took off. I'm gonna leave it here in the kayak for a little while before I throw it out. So there goes that bait. Got the fly there under it. Regular viewers, you've seen my rigs. If you knew though, it's a Carolina rig. Sinker, 10 knot circle hook, catfish sumo bait stalker fly under it. Got my line wrapped around everything. But just drop it down, let it hit bottom, raise it up a little bit, and wait on fish to work up through here. And when they do, they got an easy meal. Easy peasy. Okay, that skipjack chunk. Oh boy, look at him go. He's pulling line, man. It just gotta eat. Well, he was pulling some line before I could get him out of the rod holder. Another just, I don't know how long it's been since the last fish, probably 20, 30 minutes. I mean, it's just, it's been that sporadic bite, but they're sporadic, but consistent. Ever 20, 30 minutes to an hour, I'm getting a bite here. Hoping as the afternoon goes on, we get closer to sunset. Maybe there'll be some more active fish work through. Every one of these fishes is pulling hard, though. They're giving me a nice tug of war game here. <laughs> I like playing tug of war with fish. I think it's the blue. goodness come on fish let me get a look at you just want to see what this thing is pretty sure it's blue oh it's a nice blue real nice fish i'm gonna tire this and out a second here i think this is the biggest one thus far that's a quality fish right there i knew when he was stripping some line before i could get the rod out the rod holder that he was a pretty good one I think he threw the, I think he's thrown that chunk of skipjack off. We're going to have to make a decision here on what we do next for bait. Do we go to the scraps? Do we go to the other piece of yellow bass? Or do we go back to the original skipjack head I was using? I could make an argument for any of them. <laughs> oh. Okay, blue cat, it's time now. You come on up here. Oh, look at this. Boy, he's hooked funny. He's got the stinger in the mouth and he's got the circle hook up under. I don't know which hook actually. I think the stinger fly is the one he ate. The other hook is up under the chin. Let me get hold of this fish. I'm trying, I want to grab him without getting that stinger hook in my finger there it's coming back out the top of his mouth we'll have to be careful with this this is a big fish he starts thrashing around to cause some problems i don't want that hook in me fish you lay right there and be good here's the main hook it's on the outside of the mouth right there the stinger though got him in the mouth up in the roof patch or the tooth patch so I don't know which I don't know which bait this fish eat. Either way, the piece of skipjack's gone. 
This one here, I mean, he, he may not have meant to get the fly in the mouth, but by gosh, she got it in there. Oh, y'all, this is a good one. Let me hold that thing up right there. Yo, beast, beast from the east right here. Nice, nice fish. I got the light behind me. We ain't getting a good picture of you. He says, that's okay. He didn't fix his hair today anyway. Nice fish, man. Don't know what he eat. Could have been the bait, could have been the fly, could have been both. He could have just engulfed the whole thing. Nice fish though. This is the biggest one of the afternoon thus far. Nice, man. It's fun, y'all. <laughs> it's just been, you know, you get bit, wait, get another bite. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're coming through all together. It seems just kind of sporadically moving up. And Well, a sporadic bite can be a good bite when you get enough fish over the course of a day. All right, buddy, let's send you out here. Oh, goodness. He gone. That's a bruiser right there. Man, well, like I said, we got to make a decision here on what we're going to do. Go with old bait. I could put another skipjack chunk down there, it'd just be old. I could do with a head that's fresh from today, but it's kind of blanched out, it's bled out. Or we could do the yellow bass. We already got the yellow bass head on that rod. I could make an argument for any of them, but what I'd really like to have is another fresh piece, another fresh piece of skipjack. That's what I'd really like to have, but we don't have it. So I think what I'll do is probably go to the scraps. That way I can have a, at least a large chunk of skipjack. I'll soak it for 30 minutes or so and nothing happens. Maybe I'll put on that piece of yellow bass there, but I think that's what I'm gonna go with to start. Well, there's one of them old, half rotted skipjacks we'll send a chunk down it still feels okay i mean it's it's not sometimes when you got bait that's a few days old it sets in your cooler and it gets soft it gets kind of like a almost a mushy texture to it you can tell it just feels different and when it gets like that i really i don't really like using it it's just kind of a lot of people think that catfish or scavengers or a lot of people you know they they want their baits almost rotted they they're just some people even use the read magazine articles they'd leave their bait out in the sun let it just bake and dry out and rot and that probably works good for channel cats i mean they will eat about anything but your blues your flatheads i think the fresher the better uh in my opinion and once that bait gets in your cooler for a few days it's a little soft a little mushy it don't seem to do as good but i keep my baits usually have them in a bag like a ziploc bag and then i put the bag on top of ice and then put more ice on top of the bag so that the baits are cold they're on ice but they're not they're not sitting in water they're not getting like um you know sitting in that slush if you will so that tip typically helps keep them fresher a little longer but um still i'd 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 feel a lot better right now if I had a few more fresh skipjack. I just, I come up through here today, I didn't have a great deal of confidence coming out here, but I didn't want to waste a lot of time catching bait. I didn't want to take away from my catfishing time because I knew I did have the scraps that I could throw on, but I just got that one skip and one yellow bass. And in hindsight now that seeing the fish I've caught, I wish I had spent maybe just made one more pass up and down the creek I launched in just to see if I could get some more fresh skips. Well, folks, I'm in a bit of a drought here. This is the longest stretch of time that I've went without a bite today, and I'm inclined to believe it's probably just because I'm out of quality bait. I've got the yellow bass head still on this rod, and this rod over here, I, about 20, 30 minutes ago, I switched out that older skipjack chunk and put on the rest of that yellow bass, but just nothing else so i don't know if we just haven't had any more fish move through or if they've come through and snubbed their nose at my offerings that's a possibility too but that sun over there is starting to drop so i'm gonna fish for probably 15 20 more minutes and then i think i'm gonna pull up anchor a little bit early while there's still some light out and do some trolling down this little pocket over here i've seen some skipjack busting 
like actively chasing Shad on the surface over here. So before I head back to the car, I want to make a lap or two through this little pocket and see if I can get some uh, get some more skipjack for the next trip. But I tell you what, man, today kind of surprised me. My expectations coming out here was low, and then you know you get out here, I get annoyed real easily when there's people fishing within earshot of me talking on camera. It drives me insane. I just like to be left the heck alone, you know? So I get out here and there's like bass fishermen, one after another, coming in and out of here and stuff. But I'll tell you what, man, it, right there. Look right here. You see that splat? I think that was skipjack right there, actually. The skipjack is the sun. Yep. They're busting surface right there. As the sun has started to go down, I've started seeing more surface activity out here with these skips. I think I'm gonna bust a few on the way back to the car, but uh, yeah, overall though, I mean, this day kind of surprised me. I, I didn't get a lot of fish, but I got some decent quality, nice blue, flathead there, a few bites. So uh, it's nice, it's nice when you come out and your expectations are low and the fish and the fish prove you wrong versus going out and just being high expectations, expecting to, to catch them all and get skunked or something you know so anyway i've had a good day out here but i'm gonna give a little while longer if i get any more cats here before i pull anchor and reel up we'll throw it on here as a bonus fish if not i guess we'll do it in the next video here we go buddy bonus fish for those of you who stuck around we just nailed one right here maybe two actually can't tell if this is one or two yet. I knew I've been seeing so many of them out here as the afternoon went on. I was like, I know I'm gonna get some. Oh, that's a big one. Only one on there, but that's a good one. All right, nice skipjack bonus fish for the three of you still watching. If you are still watching, thanks for sticking around to the end. It's the end for this guy too. He's going in the cooler. He's going to be bait on the next trip.